getting a new NCAA football video game every year is as sure a bet as they come. This year's NCAA Football 11 brings a few new game mechanics like locomotion and true school to the table, in addition to expanding on an already robust dynasty mode. With those upgrades over last year's entry, EA is clearly looking to improve on an already solid model, and though there are a few issues, NCAA Football 11 just might be the best version of the title to date. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right, they sacrificed their bodies in there and stuff. Upon starting up a game, there are a few differences you'll notice almost immediately. First off, there's no longer a sprint button. How fast your player runs depends entirely on how hard you're pushing the left analog stick. It takes a little getting used to, but once you adjust to the new control style, running with the ball feels more natural than in years past. The game's blocking has also been improved tremendously and makes a huge difference on offense and defense. The offensive lines almost play too well, and teams who are good at running the ball will be exceptional, and even harder to stop than they were before. Because line intelligence far surpasses that of last year, it makes for a much more realistic gridiron experience. And though it can be too easy to move the chains unless playing on the highest difficulty, running the ball has never felt so good in a college football game. NCAA Football 11 also reworked the right analog controls of last year, which is supposed to give you greater control of your ball carrier's body. In concept, it's an interesting idea, but the execution isn't as strong as it could have been, and the control you're supposed to feel is negligible at best. Receiver intelligence has been adjusted so that they'll actually make an effort to stay in bounds, and it's easily the most welcome change to the game. True School is NCAA football's new AI that replicates how each and every school plays the game. It's actually pretty impressive how well the game translates to particular coach's tendencies, and on defense you will feel like you're actually strategizing against the real-life team. However, True School will occasionally rely too much on game plans like the Hurry Up, and a game can end up feeling like you're playing against someone who's never played a game of football before, instead of an intelligent computer program. Those instances are rare, but that makes them stand out even more. This year's game makes use of the best Hurry Up play calling system in any football game, allowing you to pick any play from your playbook while your team rushes to the line. It works on both sides of the ball and replicates the sense of panic and rushed excitement of the real game situation almost flawlessly. Pass, middle of the field. He's still moving. But they just haven't shown much at all today. Aside from the standard options expected of a sports game, the much improved Dynasty mode is likely where you'll be spending most of your time. Playable both on and offline, the already deep game mode gets even more intricate this year with a bigger focus on personal attention to recruits. This year you actually make phone calls to your prospective players to discuss your plans, the program, and the recruits' future. There are a few limited dialogue options to use, but saying the right thing at the right time can go a long way in convincing a 5-star player that your school is the right place for him. Ranked games, rivalry games, and games within your conference do actually play tougher than if you were playing another unranked school, adding a level of depth missing from the past few years. The online dynasty plays almost identically, save for the welcome addition of the new Dynasty Anywhere. You can now manage your team and recruiting from your computer, as well as create your own news stories to populate the weekly highlights for everyone else involved to read. While EA has once again brought back Road to Glory, this time as a campaign in which Aaron Andrews follows your career from high school to the NFL draft, it's still the one game mode that needs the most work. After all these years, the fact that it's nearly impossible to play as any other position outside of halfback, quarterback, or defensive line is a disgrace. Perhaps it's time to finally call it quits on this particular game mode, because when the biggest change since the mode's inception is that you've added Aaron Andrews' cutscenes, it's clearly time to move on. Does this young man have what it takes to become a legend? Team Builder is back again this year as well, and any team created within last year's game can be used again, though it should be noted that the slight creation tweaks made for NCAA 11 do make a difference. You can also play with created teams online this year, though only with the specific Team Builder Online Versus option. It's time for the coin toss, and it's a good opportunity to let you know that our game is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. The this year's presentation is really great. ESPN is all over the place, and the real televised feel is more detailed than ever. This year also marks the first time that schools went to the field of play like they do in real life. Whether it's Notre Dame's sign slapping or Miami's run through the fog, it's a nice touch to see just how far EA's gone in ramping up the television aspect. The game's character models look really good, especially with all the new dynamic lighting. The locomotion engine provides for a great deal of new animations, and the head and shoulder tracking is truly impressive. When the game is moving at full speed, it's tough to notice all the little animation flourishes, but when watching a replay or creating your own highlight, it's easy to see the subtle nuances of player movement. It's certainly easy to write off any yearly sports title as nothing more than a roster update. 
Thankfully, NCAA Football 11 happens to be an exception to that misguided idea and is probably the best entry in the series in the last five years. All the changes made to the way the game is played are big improvements, and even though it can be a bit too easy at times, NCAA Football 11 is still incredibly fun. Like a freshman blue chip prospect, this effort is only just the beginning of what's sure to be a few great years for the franchise. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the full text review on GamerVision.com.